Bonjour y'all! My name is Brita and today on Witches Unite I am going over the 12 tasks of Christmas. To be clear, the 12 tasks of Christmas is different than the second week of Christmas Calamity, the ongoing brilliant event. So yes, while it might be a bit of a challenge to complete the brilliant event and the 12 tasks of Christmas, I believe that you are up for the challenge. The 12 Tasks of Christmas is a new event in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. It's really unlike any other event that we have had so far, mainly because the tasks are not sequential and because we have so long to complete the tasks, which is great because some of these tasks are going to be harder than others and you will want a lot of time and a lot of flexibility to plan out how exactly you're going to complete them. So basic information first, and yes, I'm reading this from my article on Wizards Unite Hub, which I have pulled up on my phone. Um, the event starts December 20th. I'm pretty sure that would be at 2 p.m. Eastern time, and it runs through January 7th, 2020. Again, most likely 2 p.m. Eastern time. So that's like two weeks, more than two weeks, to get all of these tasks done, which if you are traveling for the holidays like I am, then having extra time to complete everything is definitely needed. And you'll see what I mean once I point out the most difficult of these 12 tasks. So let's go through these. And again, these are not sequential. You do not have to do these in any sort of order, um, but you do have to complete all 12 tasks if you want the bonus rewards for completing all of the tasks. All right. First task is pick up 10 gifts. That means uh, going to inns, going to greenhouses, going to fortresses, and getting gifts from those locations in the game. Send 10 gifts. Open 3 gifts. Dine at inns 30 times. This is not necessarily a difficult task, but if you don't have access to a lot of inns, this could be a time consuming task. Complete 10 wizarding challenges. I mean, you could knock these out in just a few minutes if you do <laughs> ruins 1 with a bunch of level 1 runestones. Just if you're going for the quick completion, that's what I would recommend. Now here is the most difficult task. Hey guys, so in the middle of editing this video, Faces reached out to me and said that they are changing one of the tasks. Um, it's no longer going to be completing the highest chamber that you've unlocked, um, but you now need to defeat 30 foes in Wizarding Challenges. So a much easier task, um, which is kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to um, having a, a harder task to, to get done, but I also understand that the game developers want to have tasks that everybody can complete with at least a little bit of effort. So it's now gonna be defeat 30 foes in Wizarding Challenges. Okay, more tasks. Perform 100 good spell casts. Not difficult, but I mean, that basically means you have to catch at least, well, I guess you don't have to catch at least 100 countables because um, sometimes, you know, they take multiple spells. But uh, that will be a time limiting task. That will take a lot of time. Perform 30 great spell casts. Again, not too difficult, but a little difficult. And here's the one that's going to be hard for me. Perform three great spell casts in a row. I am not great at these sequential spell casts, so um, I guess I'll just be casting a lot of spells over the next, like, two or three weeks. Brew five potions, pretty easy. Use ten potions, pretty easy. Return ten high foundables. If you're having trouble finding high foundables, uh, well, first of all, the 
brilliant foundables for Christmas calamity are high foundables. Um, but also look for um, oddities. <laughs> I almost forgot that word. Look for oddities around dusk or in the evening because earthlings, werewolves, and vampires are all high threat level foundables and those will count for the task. So if you complete all 12 of these tasks, of course you get the three spell books. You also get three silver keys, you get 80 gold, one dark detector, and one restricted section book. This is in addition to the individual rewards that you get for each task, which for the most part is just a lot of wizarding XP. Uh, there's one dark detector and no, there's one dark detector for two different tasks. And then of course the two spell books as mentioned before for completing the highest uh, completing a wizarding talent in the highest chamber that you have unlocked. So those are the 12 tasks of Christmas. I'm excited about the challenge. I'm excited about doing something different in the game. I'm excited that some of these are harder to complete, but to compensate for that, we have a lot more time to complete the tasks. I think that that is a really fair balance, especially since for a lot of players, especially in America and the UK, we're about to have Christmas and New Year's, and those are dates when people are with family and friends, when people are traveling, and they might be spending time with people who don't play Wizards Unite. For whatever reason, you know, Dan and I don't have a ton of family members playing this game with us. But, I think it can be done. I think you can complete all of these tasks. Maybe you'll be doing them like the weekend after Christmas, but you know, that's fine. You have until January 7th. You have plenty of time. I believe in you. I believe in me. And we're all going to get it done. That is all that I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts on all the tasks that we need to complete and any tips that you have to share with other players. Please subscribe. My goal is to reach 600 subscribers by the end of 2019 and I'm just a few subscribers away. So please help me reach my goal of 600 subscribers. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, au revoir wishes.